Hey guys, here I'm still and to review the LEGO Star Wars Half Attack. So this is the box here. So it's recommended for you just 7 to Croft and this set 75138. Comes with three main figures which are the Rebel Crooper, Han Solo and also a Snow Crooper. And uh, I guess you can say this set comes with four main figures if you count the Destroyed here. But yeah, so this is the top here. And nothing really on the sides and or the bottom, but yeah. So this is the back shows you all the weapons and also you know all the features. So yeah, uh, it's a pretty cool box. This is the instruction manual here, and yeah. So this is the first page, and and this is the last page. And you got the perks list over here. And you also got the uh, advertisement for the uh, Force Builder app. So, yeah, but uh, there's not really any advertisements for the Star Wars sets. But, yeah, that's it for the instruction. So, these are the extra pieces here. So, it comes with two of these studs and uh, these towel studs pieces. And uh, you got this one, this one by one, the stusher piece. Uh, technic piece, uh, the pistol piece, the uh, the lever kind of piece, and uh, cheese slope. This printed piece, and also this back piece, and also the goggle and the uh, extra spring load missile. But that's it for the extra pieces. First figure of the set here is the Rebel Crooper, the half version. So yeah, uh, he's armed with the uh, long kind of rifle piece which is yeah, kind of sniper but yeah you know that's that but yeah so you can see uh he has this helmet here with the goggles on there which is uh, obviously um oversized so yeah but his face here is the uh normal you know star wars common face and he does not have a double-sided face, and his torso printing looks good as well. You got this kind of badge there, you got his belt, and you got pouch. So it does have some light printing with the black, uh, thick black lining in the middle there. So that's cool. And he does also have a backpack and rem removing the backpack. So this is the back printing here, and yeah, just some simple printing, and you know, the printing for the you know, belt and yeah that's it for the rubber crouper next is Han Solo in his uh, coat so yeah he's armed with his uh, small little blaster and yeah as you can see you got his uh, hoodie kind of thing there with uh, this yellow printing there and yeah uh, it's just a you know Hoodie, hoodie mode and you can remove it and you can see you got his face so yeah, uh, the torso, torso printing here, uh, you got this tied up thing, and, you know, uh, you got the batch there, I believe, and, yeah, you got his belt printing, and, yeah, uh, he does also have some light printing, which is cool, and he does also have double-sided face, which is his, I don't know, like, uh, I don't know face, I guess, but, yeah, and this is the back printing, uh, printing for the belt and yeah just this kind of furry printing there but uh, you know aside from that it's just some linings and yeah like that's uh, pretty much it for Han Solo lastly is the Imperial Snow Trooper so yeah you can see he has this uh, normal you know blaster and yeah so you can see he has a really nice helm helmet mode here and yeah it's the Imperial Snow Trooper helmet mode so yeah under there is obviously the angry clone and the torso printing is uh you know pretty great uh you know probably just some life support systems and yep but uh on this waist here you got this um uh, this cloth piece which yeah for protection I guess but yeah if you remove the head uh, the back here uh, you got his uh, life support system or something like that but 
back here, just some, uh, like, kind of storm purple print thing, and, yeah, you know, you got this thing, and, yeah, but I guess that's, uh, really it for the Imperial Storm Purple. So, the set also includes, uh, Probe Roy, Imperial Probe Roy, so, yeah, uh, it's nice, I'm not sure if, uh, it is considered as a Mayfigure or not, but, yeah, so, uh, you got the clear stand here with the dish piece at the bottom, so yeah, that's nice for standing this thing up. And yeah, so you got the kind of eyes at the front, and yeah, the top here you got these this dish piece, and uh, you know you got the like the legs kind of thing, you know, with these groin arms, and you got these uh, pistol pieces. So yeah, that's cool, and you know you just got all these clip pieces clipped on uh, four sides, and yeah, this one here has a stud, but you know it's just a very simple pro bro, and you know not nice that it includes uh, the pro bro. So let's get into the build. So let's start off from the smallest to the biggest first, like always. So this is just a stud shirt, you know, like kind of a heavy blaster uh, for the imperial side. A snow crew can you know use the stud sure and yeah uh, you got the stand to help this thing uh, you know stand up because it it is only on this cry part which you know is obviously not stable uh, but you know it's pretty nice that they got this cry part using these uh, antennas or like lever pieces so here here you got this control place I guess you can just hold it on with uh, on the crouper and yeah this that sure you just shoot so yeah but like that's uh, really it for the stature so this is the crunch part or the turret part so yeah uh, here uh, it is on uh, this thing is on the hinge pieces so yeah, you you can actually fold this out into a uh, crunch kind of like really long kind of crunch, and yeah, it's clipped inside there. You can see, and you can just open it up, and yeah, and you know this thing would turn it into like this. So yeah, you got three hinge ports here. So you know you can kind of customize it or something, and you know that's cool. So yeah, here just got all the snow and you know, you got some tan pieces there and yeah, you just like the snow here is, uh, you know, pretty much cover up everything and yeah, so here uh, you got this kind of power, like the power source or something. You got these tubes here, this is the sticker control panel or something and you got this tube going to the turret here and yeah here got uh, just a wrench and also this light thing, light indicator kind of thing and yeah here got a uh, clipped on shovel and yeah so here uh, you, got, you got another of these um, lights light indicator kind of thing and yeah uh, this tube just goes off to the turret there so the turret itself here uh, uh, you don't have to use your hand to turn it because you got a knob over here which you know just turns the turret around which you know uh, you can turn it around 360 degrees and yeah it's pretty smooth as well and the technique all the technique things it's uh, inside here so yeah uh, it's cool and yeah so here the, they use this uh, column pe both of these two of these column pieces to you know made up the bottom part and uh, you got one of these uh, sticker pieces for you know just some detail and yeah so the turret here or uh, the top here got the, these uh, spring load missile and you can fire them and yeah, you got an extra in this set, of course, and you know, you can just fire off, so yeah, that's cool. So, uh, you got the barrel here, which you know is uh, is on this uh, technic piece, and this uh, it's pretty interesting of like how this thing is connected. I don't know why here the bottom is left like this, I don't know why, so yeah, but. You know, this is just a, you know, really nice turret, but I don't know why I still use my hands to turn, turn around, but, 
you know the barrel is pretty cool and you know you can actually put a person up there to you know uh, man the turret and yeah uh, you got this hatch here on this hinge piece and you open it up uh, there's nothing really on top there except for uh, both of these pieces and uh, just a place for the mythic to sit on and also this top piece so uh, you can sit on the rubble trooper I wish that you can you can put it inside here but you know it's okay uh, you can just close this thing kind of like that's uh, really it so conclusion of this set well I think the figures are great the build is definitely a great improvement over the you know the last half set so yeah that's great and yeah the inclusion of the probe grow is also nice and you know it's just the team is getting boring because the half team has been going on for like years already so yeah it's kind of getting a little bit boring but yeah uh, overall the the set is still great but just the team and yeah so overall i do recommend you getting this set if you like the half team like me and you know uh i i did not get like all the other older half team sets so yeah it's nice to get one so yeah bikes for this down in the description box below along with all of my social media pages down in the description so if you're in job physical alternative bricks i'll put a link down in the description box below as well but thanks for watching i'll be seeing you very soon